One of the reasons why Manchester United are currently struggling and not in the top half of the Premier League table is their woeful defensive displays, partnered with their lack of creativity in the attacking phases. Once again, they sit in the bottom half of the table after the first few games, and it is unacceptable. However, a stat that might surprise you is that lots of the other big six teams like Chelsea, Man City and Tottenham have also conceded similar amounts of points and goals. Even Arsenal, who arguably have the best defence in the league, have conceded eight goals. So have Man United's displays actually been that bad? Well, the difference between the other top six teams and United is the goals scored. Remember, all these teams have the attacking strength to match the goals conceded. All these teams have scored at least 10 goals more than Manchester United. If United were scoring as many goals, nine goals conceded wouldn't be a problem. But since United are not scoring the goals, nine goals is just too much to concede after only eight games. In the golden words of Sir Alex Ferguson, attack wins you games, defence wins you titles. A team that wants to win titles just has to concede considerably less than the goals they score. If, like every Man U fan when Ferguson was at the club, and maybe even some of the fans of rival clubs who are just bored of City winning the league right now, you want Manchester United to be gunning to win the Premier League, if not this season, but the coming future seasons, one thing is certain. They have to work on being better in defence. So then the million dollar question is, how can they be better in defence? Well, one answer is the French multi-talented young wonder Lenny Yoro. Now we bring good news to every Manchester United fan as we can confirm that Lenny Yoro is back in training and ready for selection again. The 18-year-old Manchester United's new centre-back, Lenny Yoro, who had suffered an injury in the pre-season tour of the United States after friendly appearances against Rangers and Arsenal, is finally back. He'd suffered a foot injury in the match against Arsenal in July and was expected to be out for at least three months. To the shock of many United fans, on Monday, October 21st, Yoro was pictured on the grass at the Carrington base doing some individual training. He had earlier been spotted in the gym a few days before. His return is, however, no shock to United, with former Man U boss Ten Hag confirming in September that Euro was on the correct trajectory in his recovery. So Euro is finally back, and all that remains is match fitness. The talented teenager hasn't played since pre-season, where he played against Rangers and Arsenal, during which he looked mightily impressive. As evident from Euro's attitude, he wants to be on the field playing as soon as possible, but United need to be cautious. The last thing the club needs is to lose Euro to another injury because they rushed him back too quickly. In the world of football today, Lenny Euro is for sure one of the best teenage defenders out there and has been likened to Rio Ferdinand for his stature, play style and potential. The only teenage defender that can go head-to-head -head with him is the Spanish wonder, Pau Cubasi of Barcelona, and Rico Lewis, who will soon fall out of this category as he turns 20 at the end of November. The French teenager was a wonder to the world of football in his first full season as a professional footballer, the 23-24 season. Yoro made 44 appearances in all competitions at central defence for Lille last season, scoring three goals along the way and was in the Ligue 1 team of the year. After incredible displays in the 23-24 season, Yoro was the subject of a transfer tussle as many top European teams wanted him, including three of the top five European teams in history, Real Madrid, Liverpool and Manchester United. In the end, United got their man and he signed a deal at Old Trafford until 2029 and he signed for a reported fee of £52 million. Everyone at Man U was pleased by this signing. Lenny is one of the most exciting young defenders in world football. He possesses every attribute needed to develop into a top-class centre-back, Manchester United sporting director Dan Ashworth stated. Euro was equally happy with the transfer 
Signing for a club with the stature and ambition of Manchester United so early in my career is an incredible honour, the player said. But did you know that Yoro was 50-50 on Man United and Real Madrid as his next club? And it was actually Agent Ferdinand that got the deal over the line. Speaking of Real Madrid, click here for our video on the new Galacticos and subscribe while you're over there. The Frenchman has revealed that ex-United player Raphael Varane was also an inspiration to him. He told the club's Instagram page when asked for his inspiration, let's say Rafa Varane. He's a top defender. He didn't play for a long time here, but he's an inspiration for me. So how did Yoro end up signing for United instead of Madrid? Well, one of Yoro's idols growing up was club legend Ferdinand. Not only that, the former England international seemingly played a role in luring the teenager to Old Trafford, despite links with Real Madrid and Liverpool. United legend? Let's say Rio Ferdinand. I don't even know if I can explain this guy, but he's a top defender and a really good guy. I just called him, but I hope to meet him soon. Not today, but during the transfer market. He helped me a lot to make my choice. He explained how big United is. So it was really good for me. Agent Rio could prove very important for the whole club in the years to come if Euro proves to be as good as everyone says he is. Born in the suburbs of Paris, Yoro and his family moved to Lille when he was six years old and he joined the Ligue 1 sides academy in 2017 at the age of 12. He progressed quickly through the youth ranks and at 16 the centre-back made his Ligue 1 debut. Yoro made his senior Lille debut on the final day of the 21-22 season against Nice when he was aged 16 years, 6 months and 1 day. This saw him surpass none other than Eden Hazard as the second youngest player to play for Lille at the time. By 17, Yoro had cemented his place in the first team at the expense of World Cup winner Samuel Umtiti. He had also become the club's youngest goalscorer for a decade. Last season, Yoro started 30 of Lille's 34 Ligue 1 matches, was on the bench for just two and only sat out only two games all season. He helped Lille record their joint third best defensive record in the league. At the end of the season, he was named in the official Ligue 1 team of the season. Yoro is a world-class talent. He possesses all the characteristics required from a modern centre-back. He's very quick and performed almost like a sweeper role at Lille as he thwarts danger by covering his other defenders, just like Van Dijk does. Euro's understanding of the game defies his age. And unlike current United defenders like Harry Maguire, he's extremely composed. He's never scared of getting the ball or holding on to it. And for someone who holds on to the ball a lot, he made zero errors leading to a goal last season and just one error leading to a shot. It's not normal to have an 18-year-old like Lenny with the maturity and technical qualities he has. For me, he'll be one of the best central defenders in France and probably in Europe. He's very well balanced and there's no doubt that he's going to be a great player, Paolo Fonseca, his former manager at Lille, said. Lenny Yoro is not the average football teenager. The Manchester United centre-back is incredibly talented. The French teenager led all under-21 centre-backs in Europe's top five leagues in both passes made and passing accuracy in the 23-24 season. In total, Yoro completed 1,727 passes for Lille in Ligue 1 last season. This is not just the most by a teenager in Ligue 1, but the most by a teenager across Europe's top five leagues. But Lenny is not just a good passer, he's far better than that. He's a ball-playing centre-back that can do all defensive duties. Last season, Euro ranked second among under-21 centre-backs in Europe's top five leagues in percentage of aerial duels won. He also ranked fourth in tackles made. Although Euro has scored few goals in his career, when he does score, he scores great goals. He struck a classy volley against Rennes in September 2023 to become Lille's youngest league goalscorer in 10 years. A month later, a day before his 18th birthday, he struck again, this time with a glancing header at home to Toulouse. 
While Fonseca, the former Lille manager, has praised Euro for his maturity and technical abilities, Jean-Michel Van Damme, the manager of Lille's academy, has highlighted the defender's ability to read the game and follow tactical instructions as what stands out in his game. Yoro also stands out for his ability on the ball and his striking prowess. In all, the French teenager seems to be simply a genius. As good as Yoro is currently, the most exciting thing is not what he has now, but what he is capable of becoming. He is without doubt the most promising centre-back in Europe, This potential is why he's the most valuable player in the world born in 2005. It's no wonder why Real Madrid and Liverpool also wanted him. The last French centre-back that had this much hype at an early age was Rafa Varane. Varane lived up to the hype as he completed 10 successful seasons at Madrid and also enjoyed his short spell at Manchester United. Can Lenny Yoro be as good as Varane was? Let us know what you think in the comments section. In fact, Lenny plays similarly to Varane. Their similar size aside, there is indeed a comparison to be made between the Yoro and the Varane styles of play. Lille's academy director also cited comparisons to Varane in an interview with Le Parisien, explaining, When I saw him, I saw Raphael Varane. The same attitude, the same dedication, the same maturity at the same age, the same morphotype. It's a godsend, he said. With Lenny Yoro back, Manchester United's defence is going to receive a huge boost. Because Yoro is also good with the ball, it is expected that he also improves the team in attack, as he is a better ball carrier from the back than the current centre-back pairing at Manchester United. By the way, if you want more Man United content, click here for our video on the Red Devils and subscribe if you enjoy. With a ball-playing goalkeeper in Onana, although with a few errors, and a confident ball-holding and distributing defender in Lenny Yoro, it will be easy to play from the back once Lenny Yoro fully returns. And stick around for our video on the new Man United manager coming soon. Now, although Lenny Yoro is back, he's not expected to play in the coming week, so he doesn't get injured again. Hopefully, very soon, the French teenager will grace our screen with his astonishing displays.